Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sasha and Renee. What I'm gonna be doing today is a full review of this beauty right here. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Stick and I have it in shade 21. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera, I'm gonna do my brows, do my eyeshadow, then I'm gonna come back, finish my foundation using the stick and give you the details about this foundation. Be right back. I'm back. Okay, so eyes are done, brows are done, and now I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer before I go in with the eavesdrop stick. I just take about this amount. I'm gonna just rub it in. Don't forget to do your skincare, guys. I already did my skincare moisturize got my spf on and all that jizz and jazz jizz sounds like <laughs> all that fun stuff i should say i'm not gonna set my primer with powder or should i yeah let's go ahead and give this a fair chance i'm gonna set it with <clears throat> my Givenchy, my Prism Libre, um, it's in the shade six. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with that powder. If I set it every time, whether I'm wearing foundation or not, let's do the same thing so we can give the foundation a fair trial. You guys like my eye look I think it looks okay it's nothing spectacular nothing too crazy okay so I've set my primer now let me give you guys some information about the shades so this comes in okay so yeah I was right it does come in 25 shades and I am in the shade 21 it says eavesdrops blur smooth tin stick they have the regular okay first of all this is what it looks like and it has this little cap on top you just take it off and then you have the product that just comes up and it looks like this is all that's in there but if you can see the little dark tint underneath there's more product in there so I'm pretty sure you can just push it up and then you just keep going and you get the rest of the product but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to ruin my product right now so Without further ado, let's go ahead and give this foundation a wear test. So right now, it is 11, do you guys see it? It's 11.7, so it's morning time and I'm going to come back and give you guys a full review. So let's see how it applies it's very smooth oh it feels very silky smooth and right now this is looking like it's not really my shade but we're gonna make it work because it matches down here it might not match my neck but it matches my chest we're just gonna keep going this feels very smooth guys Rihanna did her thing with this one it feels so smooth okay so that's on I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend this out what was I saying about this not being my shade do you guys see that it just disappeared into my skin Wow 
this is amazing and beautiful you know I actually had the skin tint the liquid version and I didn't like it at all I think I decluttered it or something because it wasn't working for me I couldn't find my right shade and it was just too thin and it, it just wasn't for me so I decided to try the, the stick and I must say I love it look at that ooh, 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 ooh. I love it and I thought this wouldn't be my shade but it matches me perfectly it literally just disappeared into my skin wow it's amazing okay that's done I'm gonna go in with concealer I am going to use 38P from Sephora's Best Skin Ever. And I'm just going to go in underneath here. Okay, let me get my mirror so I can see what I'm doing because the camera is like right in front of me in the mirror. And I can't see, so I'm getting my little handy dandy mirror here. Let's get this swipe like that and this one swipe like that guys I don't even see this on my skin right now that's amazing wow I'm impressed color me impressed for first impressions well this isn't really my first impression because I tried this foundation already and I don't remember how I felt about it. So that's why I decided to do a video to see exactly how I feel and share it with you guys. But right now, I'm very impressed with it. Like, super impressed. Alright, let's get the nose. Contour. Let's get the mustache. Let's get under here. And then the forehead okay now that we look like we're ready for war in the Amazon jungle let's go ahead and blend trust the process sis trust the process let's go ahead and blend with my beauty blender Sometimes, you know, some of the girls say, oh, let it dry down, let it dry down. Um, I would let it dry down if this thing didn't dry down really, really fast. This dries really, really fast, so you don't have to worry about, you know, blending prematurely. Did I do my nose lean? I think so. Maybe a little bit. How does it look? I don't know. We'll fix it. I think it looks it looks okay. I actually have a few errands to run today, so I'm gonna be giving this like a true wear test. I'm not just sitting around in the house doing nothing. I'm actually going to be working out in this makeup so i'm definitely going to be giving you guys a true true beyond true wear test because who's who wears makeup well i wear makeup to work out so i can't really say anything about that because <laughs> i wear makeup sometimes when you're feeling down all you can do is put on your face and then you feel so much better at least for me that's what I do let me just put a little bit here just the residue so I can get a little chiseled look all right we're done blending that out 
Almost, I should say. All right, now that looks good. Now I'm gonna go in with my cream. This is Toffee Tees from Fenty Beauty, my cream contour. And where is that contour brush? Okay, here it is. I'll go in with a little bit, cause this thing is very dark. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's use the same thing, go over here, bring it up, bring it up to the forehead. And that was only one dab in it. One diggy diggy dab. And you don't need any more than one dab with this. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to go in and we're going to set everything with powder. So, for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade 3 Tan. This is what she looks like, so pretty. I'm going to go in with my brush. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That is so, so pretty. I can't get over it. Charlotte Tilbury products just, they bang. They always bang. Oh, you guys see how this is not really looking like it's coming together? for now but it will it totally will I'm gonna go in with my MAC bronzer this one is in richer rosy this is just so beautiful look at that oh I can't get enough Go ahead and set this in place so we don't want it to move. Look at that. Oh! Let's minimize that forehead, yes. Let's get that cheek, that chiseled cheek. Let's get under here. Let's get that cheek some more underneath here because we want it to blend seamlessly let's bring it down a little bit down to the neck area you see right now it's looking like it's not blending just wait just wait because we're gonna come through with this big old fluffy brush and then we're just gonna blend everything in look at that mm. Beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. And I'm not gonna do much to my nose. I'm just gonna do a little bit of um, the same Mac radiance, and I'm just gonna go down my nose, like the sides of my nose, not too much. So just a little line, you see that little line? And another little line. The 
these two little lines and then you're going to bring it up to the eyes. Bring it up to the eyes. And then we're going to blend that out. You guys see that? Oh, <laughs> I need to blend it out some more. So let me get a more chiseled, smaller brush. Here we go. That's better. There we go. And boom. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. And I'm gonna be using Maybe I should go in with a cream blush and then top it off. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty blush in Faith. It's this beautiful purple blush. It's a lot of blush, isn't it? go in and I'm gonna just dab it down and it's gone do you guys even see it Cause I don't I don't see it anyway well we tried I'm gonna go in with a different blush then I'm gonna go in with Daiquiri Dip from Fenty. It is a cream blush. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender again. Get the back. I still can't see much. Do you guys see it? Comment down below if you guys see it. Speaking of comments, if you've come this far in the video, that means you must see something that you like. So go ahead and subscribe, honey. Drop your comments down below and hit that like button so YouTube can know that I am loved. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I see it now. I see it now. Boom. All right, now that's there. So with the cream contour, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it with my Juvia's Place. I'm gonna set it with this top one right here. And this is in volume one. As usual guys, I'll link everything down below as long as it's still available in store. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm going to use Trophy Wife by Fenty. And a little bit of this goes a long way. So I'm literally just doing this. Just a little swipe. And look at this. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, OMG, did I put on too much? Nah, nah, we're just going to blend it out. Let's blend that out. And we're going to put a little bit on the nose and the bridge of the nose to make it and then we're gonna put a little bit on the lip what lip color should I do guys I don't know 
I don't know what lip color I should do. But that's good. And to make that, I'm gonna take this brush, brush it out, brush it out. There we go. For lip liner, I'm gonna be using, oh, I'm gonna try this lip liner from MAC. It's in the shade Cork, and I think it's too light for me, but I'm gonna go in and see if it can line my lips. <laughs> and it can't, so. This is a no. I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place lip liner. This is in the shade um, Scorpio. It's a beautiful purplish, dar a dark purple, um, almost brownish, but it looks very, very pretty. Okay, so my lips are lined and I'm going to go in with one of my NYX Butter Gloss. I don't know which color to choose. Oh, I'm feeling a little... It's, it's not summer, but I'm feeling bright. So I'm going to go in with this one. I'm going to go in with Merengue. This is what she looks like. She is very bright. But I don't think it's going to be bright on my lips. So let's go ahead and put it on. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. It's pretty. Always do that so you don't touch your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And we're going to go in with setting spray. I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Party all night, stay all day, baby. I'm going to mix it with my Fix Max um, setting spray from MAC. Let's go ahead and shake this up. And let that fall on the face. I'm going to go in with my fan. This thing is always so hard to open and dry down. All right, guys, so this is the final look and I am in love with it. I thought it wasn't gonna match me at all because it looked a little bit light, but if you have the same thing happen to you and you feel like your foundation is a little bit light, just go ahead and mix it with a deeper foundation or a contour stick or some type of deeper concealer that you have and it will match you perfectly fine or you can do what i did don't put too much on your face so you can look cakey and crazy we don't want to do that so i'm in love with it and i'm gonna keep you guys posted throughout the day let's see right now that i'm done filming it is 11 38 i hope you guys can see that and i'll keep you guys posted throughout the day to see how this wears um i'm probably gonna come back at night tonight right before i shower i'm not gonna touch it up i'm not gonna do anything to it so let's just see how it goes from there okay guys so i just came back from the gym and it is now you can see it's 504 can you see it 
I hope you can see it but I think the makeup is wearing pretty well you can see around my nose area basically around my t-zone area I'm getting a little oily I'm not blotting I'm not doing anything I didn't use anything at the gym so I think the foundation is wearing pretty well I like it I really like it and I'll give you guys more of an update later before i'm gonna go to bed i know the last time i said i'm not gonna update you until it's like bedtime but i changed my mind like every woman does in this world so i'm giving you guys a middle update and um i love it i love the way it looks um yeah okay all right so the time is now 720 you guys can see it there so i did a full wear test today it a full eight hours and i must say i am very impressed with this fenty eavesdrop blur stick the star of the show today um it wore well as you can see let me give you guys a little bit of close-up i'm still oily around my t-zone area i'm not oily like down this area right here which i'm usually not oily right there but i'm very oily around here all up in here so i would say this is a it doesn't really give me that tint vibe like the eavesdrop um the liquid version does this gives me more of a full coverage vibes and I don't know if it's because I put a lot of strokes on there because I had like three on this side, three on this side and then I had two up here. So I don't know if that's what caused it but I definitely love this and it will be well used in my collection and well loved. So that's it guys. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm Session Renee. Thank you for watching. Bye.